But I do want to take this opportunity to say a, a few things about family. Uh, as a member of parliament and as a public figure, uh, I've worked really hard in the time that I have been in politics to keep my family out of the public limelight. Uh, I've got two children. I've got a six-year-old son uh, and a four-year-old daughter at school, Lynn at Kindy. I want them to grow up uh, with a typical Kiwi kid life. I want them to be able to make mistakes. I want them to be able to learn and to grow without five million people looking over their shoulder. Uh, and so I intend to keep them out of the public limelight. You won't see uh, pictures of them uh, you know, on social media or in, in the media and so on. And I simply ask New Zealanders to respect that as well. Um, I know that putting my name forward to be a, a minister, to be an MP, to be the prime minister, I make myself public property. I absolutely accept that. But my family aren't. And I ask that people do respect that. Uh, I am aware uh, of the Wellington rumour mill, though, and I know how things go round in Wellington, so uh, I will put something on the record that will be my final comment on the matter. Uh, being a, a politician's partner and being a minister's partner, uh, being a minister's partner when you're in the public spotlight, as I have been, uh, particularly during the COVID-19 response, it's bloody hard. Families come under an enormous amount of pressure. A year ago, uh, my wife and I made the decision that we would live separately, uh, that we would do everything we can to raise our children together. We remain incredibly close. She's still my best friend. Um, but we have made that decision in the best interests of our family. Um, my view is that, that the only people whose business that is is, uh, is my own. Um, but I've also seen the enormous scrutiny and pressure placed on Jacinda and her family. Um, and so my response to that will be to keep my family completely out of the limelight. Um, and so I just ask New Zealanders to respect that as well. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. To stay up to date with all the latest news from the New Zealand Herald, click the subscribe button below or check out one of the videos here. And head over to nzherald.co.nz for more details on these stories and more.